So here I'm going to have a, another go at using the distance formula um, to find the distance between two points. So here are my points. I have B is at the coordinate negative 25 comma 0 and C is at the coordinate 15 comma negative 30. So find the length of BC using the distance formula. Now I would use the distance formula here because based on my Cartesian plane, this isn't large enough for the numbers that I have. So using the distance formula would be a really good idea. So let's go through what I suggested we did last time. Let's have a look at our two points. Let's call this the first point and this the second point. Then the this value here is x1, this value here is y1, this value here is x2, and this value here is y2. So I'm going to work through this one a little quicker. All right, so the distance formula is equal to the square root of x1 take x2 all squared plus y1 take y2 all squared. Okay, so let's have a look at substituting into that really long formula. So square root brackets, we've got to take, we've got a plus, we've got to take, we've got a plus, a uh, square. So what I've done is I've actually written in all the things that are fixed, yeah, and I'm only worrying about substituting in the actual numbers in place of the x1s and x2s, y1s. All right, so x1. x1 is negative 25. So negative 25, take away, x2, 15, plus y1, 0, take y2, negative 30. All right, so this is starting to look a bit messy because it's involving negative values. So take your time with negative values and think it through. Okay, so we've got the square root of negative 25 take 15, all right, is negative 40. So you have to think about your number line there. Add 0 take away negative 30. Hmm, well, taking away a negative is like adding. So we've said 0 plus 30, so 30 squared. Okay. So we can use our calculator or we can do it in our heads. Negative 40 squared. So we're saying negative 40 times negative 40. Okay, so 4 times 4 is 16. We know it's going to be positive because a negative times a negative is positive. Um, and we've got 10 times 10. So we've got 1600, 1600 squared plus 30 squared, which is 900. Oops, I, my mistake. Here, I have already squared it, so I don't need to write the square a second time. So negative 40 squared is 1,600, 30 squared is 900. Okay, 1,600 plus 900 is going to be 2,500. All right, so let's find the square root of that. You might recognise the square root of 25 is 5 and the square root of 100 is 10, or you might use your calculator, it doesn't matter, and we get the answer 50. So the distance or the length of BC, so BC is equal to 50, and that's using the distance formula.